preps have all gone very well. We're going into the race with a lot of confidence. Um, just a couple of days left and we just hope things carry on the way they have. Fish River uh, can't complain. She's coming off two wins. Obviously never been the mile, but the way she's won, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, she's in great form, got a good draw, and so everything's gone well with her. Uh, taking the piece, she's a nice filly. She gave away to everyone last time and ran fourth. Um, that's behind Fish River, so that's pretty decent form, giving way to them. Um, not sure if she can quite turn it around with Fish River, but she's definitely going to be right there. Silver Thursday is also a very nice filly. Um, you know, she's, she just wasn't really the same in Cape Town. She's a much better filly here in Joburg, and she's the type of filly that I think is going to be at her best in the, the 18 and the, the 2450. Um, but you know, with a good draw, she's going to be right up there, and she, she's going to give a very good account of herself. Uh, Orpha is a, is a nice up-and-coming filly. She's done nothing wrong as well. Um, this is a big, big test of uh, her ability. It's a big step up. She won a handicap last time, so it's going to be her first time in, in feature race company. But nothing wrong with what she's done so far. And then obviously Pearls of Bahrain, also a big step up. Um, but you know, we've been working these these fillies all together, and then they're all quite similar. So. Although she's rated, um, I think it's 70, 70 something. It's a limited penalties race. If even if you win or run a or run a place, you know. So we're willing to take the chance to get some black top. She is a smart filly, and we do eventually eventually think one day she will be in this type of class. So why not take our chances? <laughs>